So, what seems to be the problem, Danny? Well, Dr. Tompkins, I have a little bit of a drinking problem, and I don't know how to fix it. We're not a rehab here, Danny. I can help you get to the bottom of why this all happened and how you can fix it. Let me know when this all started. Well, I had a very tough year. To be honest, both of my parents passed away, and it's been a struggle for me and my family. I wasn't much of a big drinker until all this happened, and it kind of spiraled out of control. Uh, honestly, I thought work would make the whole thing better and make my fear and sadness take a back seat. But if we're being honest, it just made it worse. Danny, what's wrong with you? You've been acting really strangely lately. I have to ask, is there something going on at home? No, nothing's going on at home. I'm just having a rough time. Both my parents passed. I don't get enough action in bed. I'm just unhappy. Danny, are you drunk? Hungover? Which one? Oh, don't accuse me of that. I know since the moment I've got here, you've treated me like crap. And I can't believe you didn't think I thought of you the same. That's it. Get your shit and get out. Gladly. have stemmed from the passing of family members and dysfunction in the home. Does that sound about right? From what I can tell, that you're the doctor here. Well, what I can suggest is some much needed rest for you. Hopefully this will lower your stress levels a little bit. Also, I'm sorry for your loss. It's all right. Thanks for your help. Can I make an appointment with you in the next couple weeks or so? Sounds good. I'll write you down in my book and I'll see you in the next couple weeks. Today was the day. The last day to fight for my life. My child, my way of life, all of it. I knew I needed to put my emotions on my sleeve and spew it all for the judge. That was the only chance I might have to change my predicament in my favor. I knew I'd done wrong and I wasn't the best husband or father, but I knew I had the right to see my kid and no righteous man or woman could take that. Mr. Way, is your statement ready? Yes, Your Honor. We are all here today because of my actions and my mistakes, and I take full responsibility for that. My mistakes have ripped apart my jobs, my relationships, and my whole life. But that is no reason to take away the one hope in life I have left, my daughter. Ever since my problems began, Your Honor, my wife has been unsupportive and outright damaging in dealing with these crises. So you can only imagine when I got fired from my job, how that all went. We had a massive fight, and that night, she filed for divorce. This shattered my will, and that's why we're here today. As my wife tries to take away the right to see my kid. That is not right, Your Honor, and it is blasphemous punishment for the repentance I have seeked. Since that, I've been doing my part, Your Honor. I haven't touched a drop of alcohol in almost three months, and I've been going to AA for the last two. What more can she want? Now she wants to take away the right to see my kid? Obviously, that is not the right consequence for a wronged man, and a flawed man at that, but a flawed man who's trying his best. With these details in your possession, Your Honor, I hope you can make the right decision before you take away the right of a loving father to see his child. Thank you. Mr. Way, 
If you honestly think your grandstanding and your big speech is going to make a difference in your case, you are sadly mistaken. Though honestly, I think you had some good points. I think you do, at least deserve, split visitation, especially with the details of your rehabilitation. So as long as that continues, I can grant you that. Case dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate your understanding, and I'll try my best. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've last seen you. How did your case go? Everything's going according to plan. I got split visitation of my child, and everything's going well. So how is your relationship with your daughter? It's a work in progress. She's still young, so she doesn't totally understand why she can only see me three days a week. But when she's with me, it's great. She can't smile any more than she does. And your relationship with your ex-wife? It's getting better. She definitely has a bit of resentment after all the things I put her through, which is understandable. But she knows I'm going towards a better life, and that's all she cares about. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? I don't think there's anything specific, but I want to say that your help has helped me make my life better, and I can't thank you enough. All I have to say is that you're helping me pick up the pieces.